Hello friends, today on Tech Time, we are going to do a quick introduction to Google Drawings, inserting and changing the size of shapes. I always start inside Google Drive so I know where everything is when I'm finished. I'm gonna navigate to the folder I need so that later I can come back and see all of my stuff. Once I'm in the right place, I click plus new, go down to more, and then click Google Drawings. Inside Google Drawings, I click right here where it says Untitled Drawing and change it to something I'm going to remember later. That way, I know what it is. Um, I always try to make it something to do with what I'm doing so that it's not just random, hey, this is red 47. I don't know what that means. So I'm going to make sure I know what it is. On the screen, there are several different ways that you can insert things. You can click the insert button and find all the different things you want to insert. But most of the things you're probably going to use are right here in the icons. If you can't see those icons or you can't see the menus, you probably pressed this button. So click down and then you'll see all the extra stuff at the top that gives you a lot more options for later. We're gonna click on this shapes button and find the shape we want. So I'm going to click my person. I need to click and drag on the screen. On a Chromebook or a laptop with a mouse pad, I find it easier to click with one finger and drag with another finger. It just makes it easier to control. With a mouse, it's a little bit easier. To change the size of your shape, you go to one of the corners and you can change how tall and how wide your shape is at the same time. If you go to a side, you can change left to right, but not top to bottom. If you go top or bottom, you can change top or bottom, but not left or right. The corners let you do both. This little dot hanging out lets you tilt your shape if you would like to do that. This right here lets us change the color. It's a little paint bucket with a drop falling out. I'm gonna change the color of my little person here. The pencil lets me change the border color of my little person. Now you can't really see the border very well because it's so thin. This button lets you change the border weight. That might be a little bit too much. We're gonna go back. Somewhere in the middle is usually pretty good. If you want it to look a little bit funky, there you go. Now your shape looks a little bit special. I'm going to go back to a solid line. Now I've got my shape and I can start doing all kinds of cool things with him. Maybe I want to go back into my shapes and give him a little lightning scar on the forehead. Why not? There we go. That's the basics of adding things into Google Drawings. Have a great day.